Hey horror fans, this is Ash from Horror Fix, and this is your fix. This is your fix. <laughs> so Jeepers Creepers 3, directed by Victor Sala. Sala or Salvo? Jeepers Creepers 3, directed by Victor Salva. So that's what we're going to review today. Now, this movie has been long gestating. A lot of people are really looking forward to this. Or hell, a lot of people just wishing that it would go the fuck away. So there's a lot of controversy surrounding this film. Part because of the director. Do we really need to go on that? Because it's a lot of controversy. It's a lot. It's a lot of controversy. And what do we want to do? We really just want to sort of, I don't know, review the movie. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. We're just gonna focus on the fucking movie. Sadly, we are gonna have to focus on the movie. So this movie, they had two theatrical premiere dates. Again, there were some problems. But people, September 26th, 2017, October 4th, they would've been able to see this in the theater, right? The people who put their hard-earned money down to see these movies in the theater, guess what? It was just on Sci-Fi Saturday night. Seriously. So I went straight to Sci-Fi as part of their 31 Days of Halloween. Now this being past Halloween, you know what, I've been busy. I have had shit to do. Finally premiered on Sci-Fi, Saturday night. Am I even looking at the right spot? I like this franchise. I really do. Critically, the second one came in quite a bit under the first, but people still enjoyed it and I enjoyed it. I like the idea where there's a monster movie, a creature feature, where the creature's actually intelligent. I mean, I love Jason Voorhees, but are you really going to ask Jason for answers to the trig test? Hey, Jason, do we even have to use pie for this? I love pie. The thing is, is that we really haven't had a monster, like a true monster. I'm not talking about a psychopath. I'm not talking about something that was once human, but a monster. I mean, the creeper, this guy's got a face, sort of comes out like a, uh, you know, like a tarantula on bath salts. Eats people to replenish body parts. So we've got a little bit of that mystery, and that mystery is really sort of what makes the creeper cool for me. But... After two films, I do want some answers. So I guess one of the big questions is, does Jeepers Creepers 3 actually give us some answers as to the backstory of the Creeper? Well, guess what? It doesn't give us shit. It doesn't give us anything. I mean, for the most part, this was built early on in the scripting phase as Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral. Does anybody remember that? Remember that? Cathedral? I mean, to me, that says Illumination, a movie called Cathedral. So what do we actually get? We get a watered-down version of the first two films with promise of backstory and absolutely no payoff. And I think that's what angers me the most about waiting this long for the third installment of Jeepers Creepers is we don't actually get any payoff. We don't get much at all. And there are so many missteps that it does sort of make me wonder if at some point they weren't just like, hey, Salva, take a break. <laughs> Why don't you call your lawyer? And they just had somebody else come in and do the rest of the film because that's the feel. This film feels extremely, totally un finished and I think that's sort of like it's a worse crime so when you watch the movie there are parts that seem like they're leading up to something you know some kind of crescendo and we don't get there and that's what's most frustrating about it is that the film even in the way that it's shot in the storytelling is constantly promising something and something that just never really delivers so Meg Foster's son much like Justin Long's character was appearing to people from the beyond to give them hints of shit's about to go down. Meg Foster is getting all of this information from her dead son through visions. Now, of course, her granddaughter is saying, hey, Nana's gone a little bit crazy. So she's worried because, well, didn't we just say she was talking to her dead son? It's a little bit of a red flag. The meanwhile... There is a Jeepers Creepers task force. It's an assault. I know this sounds goofy, and it doesn't actually play that well to the camera either. Like, they've got these patches, which sort of has like a 
skull with wings on it. I now this might be an actual like military or police patch that I'm just not aware of, and it tied in nicely for what they do. But it's a little goofy. Like when you see it, you're like, oh, they got a logo. They spent money on a logo. They also spent money on huge guns. There's this enormous sort of like mounted Gatling gun kind of thing, which is pretty crazy. And, and those are sort of like the high points. It's like you see this big gun and you're like, that's really, really going to play a part. And even though it sort of does, there's still not as many high points. There's not these hallmark benchmark points to this movie that you're promised. Uh, we, we don't get the payoff of learning about the Creeper. We actually don't even get a huge showdown. We get sort of what I would consider like a second tier fight that ends abruptly. And abrupt is sort of the theme behind this movie. Everything sort of ends abruptly. Everything is a cut to commercial. But when we come back, we don't really get anything else. I mean, this is just disappointing. And it's sad because I feel that the Creeper still has a lot of presence. I feel like there were some good actors and actresses aligned for this, but it just didn't come through. It just feels like somebody shot about 60% of a movie, but it was long enough in its running time to sell to a network. And I think that's really what happened. So if you're looking for another installment in the Jeepers Creepers franchise, just stop looking. Just stop looking. You might not find what you're looking for. There was a song about it. Pretty sure it was from you two. I could be wrong. Take that song, play it a couple times and learn from it because you're not going to get what you were promised from a third Jeepers, Jeepers Creepers movie. You're just not. You're just not going to get what was promised. If you go into it thinking you might have a little bit of fun, there are some high points, there just aren't many, and the high points come at moments that just feel a little weird and feel a little stilted and feel a little wrong. So unfortunately, a movie that I was waiting years to see, amidst the fact that it had to be released at a time where everyone is trying to make sure that it wasn't released, just didn't pay off for me. So do I recommend Jeepers Creepers 3? And what? If you've got absolutely nothing to do and you're not watching that pirated copy of It for the 43rd time, give it a view. But for the most part, not recommended.